we're back. We're doing door commentary. So once again, we have a made chaos here. Hi, I'm a chaos here again. So we have GGZ here with 1180, and then we have Valami with 1198. So he's clearly using some kind of synchro deck. Yeah, synchro's probably mm -hmm. with the with the plant engine. Interesting. I personally I don't think plant engine is necessary anymore with the new support because chat synchron is pretty much like glow up bulb. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Broke charge! <laughs> <Lol>. <laughs> it's time already. I'm using soul charge so early just Seriously. to get another form of synchron. Super early. I guess uh, the synchron player doesn't have a very good hand otherwise. Uh, Oh, Spell Striker. So we got Spore, which I'm assuming you're running at one, because why would you run multiples? It's Soul, soul Charge. I said this number generator is interesting. It's going to be interesting. I'm probably going to get snatched stilled every single fucking video. You said in your video why uh, Konami doesn't take account those unofficial uh, dwelling platforms, but Konami really doesn't care because they... Uh, yeah, yeah it's a third infringe party. on copyright. Yeah, so. and I don't give a shit. <laughs> hey, you not give no fucks. Mm. Yeah, they only care about Dual Arena. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the Shrink Quasar right there. Yeah, that's Shrink Quasar Dragon. I guess um, the single player had a good hand after all. Did you mill? I didn't see him mill. Did you mill? Did he mill? I'm not sure. Okay, I guess that was the mill. Yep, there you go. Yep. Yep. Quasar. <laughs> yep, my favorite Synchro Monster. Because it's so damn powerful? Yeah, and I... Because of course, uh, it, when it first appeared in anime, I thought like, it was like so amazing. Uh, cool. defense. And it's pretty much like a big ass star on assault mode. Well, that's always good as well. <laughs> All right. So if you have a quasar in the field, um, I'm gonna go dark hole. Response. <laughs> no response. I go dark hole. You have quasar in the field. Dark hole. Response. Negate. Star oh. steel. <laughs> <Suck my dick. laughs> Swear to God! <laughs> yeah, that's what sucks so much. Someone did that. <laughs> yep. Oh my God! Snatch those two broken. <laughs> indeed. Well, that was a fast duel. <laughs> yeah, indeed. It was shooting because I can pretty much the wins wins the game on its own. But I said match. Whatever. You even want to go to round two? Damn, alright, well, we gotta get another duel in. We're back. I'm very salty about that uh, shooting Cosa Dragon, I guess. Yep, because it broke charge. <laughs> oh, and you thought that still was broken as a, bro as a fucking at one spell card. Don't forget about Soul Charge. <laughs> Which one do you think is more broken? Uh, soul Charge or Snatch Still? Yeah. Yeah, Snatch Still? Yeah. <laughs> the Soul Charge has a life point, life point cost and the restriction. Not a lot of decks in the meta are playing Soul Charge anymore. Yeah. Poor fucking, uh, Sylvans. <laughs> <laughs> Tech just disappeared. <laughs> Alright, we'll get another duel in. Bear back. Alright, we got another duel. Oh, of course you gotta learn darkness. See? See? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get snatched up like a son of a bitch. Anyway. We have... Mm, burning Abyss. Yep. Yep. Mo nineteen Moi Moi nineteen ninety eight. Morpheus was born in nineteen ninety eight. Oh, he's he's kinda young. He's only sixteen with his young ass. <laughs> we got a men's here. It's only seven hundred and three, so clearly. Is that the first turn? No, alright, that's at least that's not the first turn. Yeah, the first turn don't happen was uh use of play for burning of us. Wow, alright. Never mind, it's the first turn, as long as he has Fire Lake. <laughs> is that a Fire Lake, sir? Sir, is that a Fire Lake? Is that, was that Fire Lake in the Vanity? pretty likely. GG? Why didn't they do anything? ANYTHING! 
The scar yeah, had to be in the graveyard too. Exclusive right? archetype type and they still uh, get uh, more support in the next sets. I'm not sure. The scar had to be in the graveyard to resolve its effect during the end phase. Yeah, it has to be. So he cheated. <laughs> yeah, I think so. so yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you have a... Well, there's vanities. I was right about one. What's the other one? Fire Lake? Coimbra mm, exists. Utopia deck. Please. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, it's a Tana Knights with Coimbra. Okay. Person, um, I want to, uh, Goblinburg makes Tana Knights miss timing. No, because uh, so Tana Knights are if effects, so they don't oh, miss okay. the timing. Okay. That's nice. So as long as it's not when, that's good. Fire Lake? Oh, no but fire what was the point that someone in Kolunang Vayu could have just Numa summoned on Kalhai? I have no idea. So bad. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. The burning of is definitely going to win this one. Yeah. Burning Abyss is gonna win it all. I, I really do want to see where um, enough clocks are gonna sit in the meta. Strength in numbers. So you know, it depends, of course, a factor of how many people actually want to play the deck in comparison to the other decks in the meta. That has to be taken into consideration. You know? It's it just, I, they don't float. That's the problem. They don't float. But Tishula is a very broken card and can devastate the Burning Abyss uh, you know, deck. Yeah, you know, uh, that might be your only saving grace is, is uh, Trishula. That's not what it does. That's not what Calcab does. Put it back in your hand. Yeah, you'd see. Now you reveal that you have bottomless. Yep. Get your fucking number generator. If the Hulk of Destroy the spell tap, it will have been broken completely. Well, put it back in your hand, sir. <laughs> oh my god. What, did you activate Dust Tornado? You can set trap cards from your hand during your opponent's turn? Like, what the fuck is going on? Whatever. Thank you. <sighs> What's the rubrics? Oh. That's quite rich that uh, no one really plays. Yep, I don't like it. Yeah, because its restriction is pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. And also don't like returning my Telenite monsters to my deck. <laughs> yep. 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 All right. Redeclare. Hmm. Okay. Leaving the Deneb on the field. I would have left Altar on the field because it's still affected by Sky Badge. Yep. But by leaving Deneb on the field, at least he can't get another search. He really can't yeah, even use that Altair because... that he just added because there is no other town in the graveyard except for Altair. I'm really surprised there hasn't been any Fire Lake. Alright, Altair summon what? And the Vanity Emptiness, of course. The... Of course, another one. Broken. Yep. Spell someone locked Also, up. those Dantes are in defense mode. Yep. I do not know why they're not in defense mode. That defense mode is mandatory. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. You can turn it to attack mode anyway. Yep. <laughs> ah, like, 
Turn to attack mode. <laughs> What's this card to say? When a card is sent from the deck or field to the okay. So females with Dante, Brandy these goes. Okay. Shit, I would have went for it. Mm. Setting a monster. Seriously. Well, this duel slowed down to a screeching halt. Yep. Just like with Vanities does. No Vanities, no skill drain, no nothing. I had to refresh what? the Obelisk, what the fuck? In Stella Knights, what the fuck is this? I don't even... Well, that was a surprise. Yeah. That was a big surprise. And you know what? Not terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In this case, yeah. Burning Basilic can't do much about uh, Obelisk. Uh-uh. <laughs> if you win through Obelisk, I will be shocked. <laughs> this is interesting. I like this. Yeah, if the burning abyss player doesn't run the Chaos Man 69 with Astar Force, then the burning abyss, pla burning abyss player is pretty much good. Yeah, like Eki can also help, of course. So, as I mentioned, that's this guy, you got Dark Hole and Regeki? Oh, now you got Fire Lake. And Black Horn. Hmm. Unfortunately, Black Horn kind of sucks nowadays. Yep. You want to can stop one Klee put monster. It can stop Dante, but Dante would still get its effect. But wasn't there a ruling that Black Horn negates the whole Pendulum summon? No, it's just one monster. I had to look it up. Yeah. I, I guess there was some confusion regarding that. Yeah. It. it Pretty much, you can, if your opponent's pendulum summons multiple monsters, you can still activate Black Horn and stop one monster. Instead of just, you can't play it at all. Oh, I guess Pendulum's player actually runs that. Uh, oh, yeah, operation. yes he does. Wow, alright. Most Pendulum's players don't run that combination. Yeah. Damn. That, that is impressive. They dropped the Honest on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. And you can't drop bonus anyway because it's a divine attribute. No, I mean, I mean 69. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. But of course, playing with Spurs, don't play as Taunt and Honest because the whole deck is dark except Taunt and okay. Virgil. All right, Mr. Teller Knights, is that it? Yeah, that's. Uh, the duel is pretty much over now. Ooh, Goblin Bird. I don't know what you did. You got first blood? <laughs> nope. That's it. <laughs> he's out of resource to you, he's out floating you, and even when you had the perfect combo piece to beat them, he still had the answer to that too. Yeah, all Star Force is currently very underrated in the Burning Abyss deck. Yeah. And I uh, see a lot of people took it out, and one of the big famous, uh, uh, you, you know, meta Yu-Gi-Oh players that top a lot. He took you out of his Burning Abyss, and we haven't seen a card in that deck since, so. Yep. I still run three because, of course, I'm a rank up duelist. So you just love ranking up. Yep. <laughs> mm. Rank up everything. <laughs> Whatever you call the hunt, it doesn't get its effect, so. It doesn't. Mm -mm. On Tevro it does actually. <laughs> for but I guess it does? Because, uh, yep. But not for Deneb. I know Deneb doesn't get his effect. Why? Because it has to be on the field to resolve. I so, don't think it does. Yeah, no. Oh no, it does. Because I know Nim Nim did a fucking... You also can't search Deneb with Deneb. Um... Yeah, that's definitely true. Uh, yeah, I know Nim Nim made a video about it, and I know the ruling because if you go MST, target my call of the haunted, and I go Chen call of the haunted, and summon, 
like Armageddon Night or something, and if Armageddon Night's not in the field to resolve, you don't get the effect. Same thing with uh, Deneb. For some reason it worked for me on Tepro at least. I guess if it's because Tepro ha goes by OCC rulings. Yeah. But here in TCG land, it doesn't work. You don't get it. You have to be on the field to resolve. Yep. So, I guess we're going by OCG ruling. So, um, uh, Burning Ghost player, uh, summon Chaos Emperor. <laughs> Well, this is, it doesn't even have an official Runix database. <laughs> so we, we, even, we even can't know the Runix properly. So what are you summoning? I, I don't know. I nuclear high. Yep. What did you search with uh, Deneb? I didn't see it. Altair? That's Sirius. Oh. What? Sirius. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sound like you said Delta. I was like, what? What? <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> you know what? This is Dean. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <sighs> that might be it. It's, this duel is pretty much over, man. I don't even know why he's still trying. So now what? We know you have Sirius, we don't know the other card you have in your hand. Compared to it, you're just completely out-resourced. At the point where Exiton won't even save it? And you drew the nab, alright. At the point where Exiton won't even save your ass, it might be over. Yep, the problem is that putting a boost player as a uh, trigger whenever they are sent to the grave, but with much all, all our dandelions, like, yeah. Yep. So what are you gonna do? Oh, you are going to go for the Exiton. Oh. Yep. Yep. The Exiton can still trigger the yeah. effect. Yep. So you just put his Exiton back in the extra deck. You could have fire liked him. Yep, I guess made a misplay. <laughs> as soon as he had the two telelight monsters, I would have fire liked his ass, but whatever. Dante effect. I guess burning a beast player is running out of uh, burning a beast currently. Yeah. That's one of the few problems with the deck. Is that, that it fins the deck too much, so. Yeah. Same thing with Choo Choo's. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, because they only have few good uh, Stop making monsters. fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that duel yesterday. <laughs> and pumpkins fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he's done his turn. I guess he's going to summon and make a Virgil. Do they even play Virgil anymore? Yeah, I think they do. At least one or two. Because, God... Remember when they were like, oh yeah, Virgil's gonna be the best, it's gonna give the deck bite, and then Fire Leak, and it's like, never mind, never mind, people. Wait, Calcab is supposed to do something? What is going on in this duel? Yeah, quite honestly, the Burning Abyss is a, it's a really boring deck currently. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like a Dante fire, like, that's all you need. Yep. Just Tour Guide, open t Tour Guide with that 3 and Fire Liquid with that 3. Oh, there we go. I got it. GG. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, there goes 41. So, you have a, uh, a Vega and a Sirius in hand. Yep. I guess can make one rank four. Yeah. And throw one card. 
Uh, you can summon, summon, put everything back, make a one on one, take the Virgil to attack over the. What was that, Sir? Yep. But then he would get the effects still. They float so fucking hard. What was Konami thinking? They weren't. <laughs> That's a good question. They weren't. <laughs> There's your answer right there. The same Konami who made Burning Abyss are the same Konami who came up with this fucking ban list. They weren't. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I pretty much have no faith in Konami's ban lists anymore. And far, like... Yep, again. Yep. Oh, well, you don't get Virgil effect. Couldn't he summon back Virgil, though? Or can it only be... Yes. Some? Oh, okay. So he's just bad. Why the fuck would you summon back him? Out of all the burning best to summon, why would you summon <laughs> back him? So yesterday we see a bad shit all player, today we see a bad burning abyss player. What about it? Yeah, he did. I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> now what? You gonna go into another fucking Virgil? Stanis might even have a chance to win now. He might, cause this guy's burning through resources through stupidity. <laughs> he still has that crap though. That was not a sink or someone. Yep. And then he gets to summon a burning his monster from his deck. Well, let me guess. You're just getting completely. Okay. Is that how much Virgil is? So Virgil went back up in price? Yeah, because of the bandless, he didn't get hit at all. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Merge effect, pitch, yep, spin. It's a game. And yeah, that is pretty much game over. It's uh, 3900 damage. Yep, GG, that's it. Ha! <coughs> huh. So oh. you know where you fucked up at? You should have dark hold before you committed to the fucking play last turn. Yeah, probably. You should have just um, you should have just guessed that he had fire lake. Like, if you see two burning abyss monsters on the field, just guess that they have fire lake. Oh well. Yeah, they almost always have one. Yep, because it's at three. Because Konami's dumb. It, it's, it's 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 not the principle of no, they shouldn't hit fire lake because they want to promote burning abyss. It's they should hit fire lake because the card is stupid, creates loops, and is unhealthy for the game. I'm gonna tell you right now, if Burning Abyss were an OCG, they would have hit Fire Lake. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Cause they don't like loops like that. Throw this away. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So thank you, Omega Cat, for joining me. No problem. So there you go, bad Burning Abyss player. <sighs> you can play the top decks, but can you play them well? Is the question. Good. Like I'm the one that can talk. I fuck up all the time. But at least I realize my mistakes. And at least they're not intentional. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next weekend with some more DM Do commentary. Thanks for watching.